Who doesn't love gingerbread? Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. I am going to design a couple of things for my coffee and cocoa bar. Let's get to DIY one. I started out with cinnamon from the Dollar Tree. Last year, the bottle was three ounces and it seemed to be a higher quality. This year, it was only 2.5 ounces. So you would want just a full three ounces for this recipe. And then I added in a bit of nutmeg and cloves, but I will add the recipe down in the description box below. So I stirred those up before I added the applesauce and the school glue. And we're just going to turn this into a great cinnamon ginger bread clay. Oh my goodness, these scents were, smelled so good. My house has a scent of Christmas with the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the cloves. Oh, you will really like these. They'll make great gift toppers. Now, you really want to work this with your hands. That really makes the dough work well. It needs maybe to get warmed up with your hands, get that dough really worked well. And then what you'll do is just put it on some parchment paper to roll it out. I got these on Amazon. It had a nice set that gave you just about every size of gingerbread man or Christmas tree you might want. My sister and I used to make these ornaments and also add a little clay heart, like a little Fimo clay heart on them. Oh, it was really cute with some red ribbon. So I just want to show you a couple of ideas of what you can do with these and how to get this clay going. As you can see, it kind of sticks to the rolling pin. So I did add the parchment paper on top and then you want the clay to be at least a quarter of an inch thick, if not thicker. I do suggest it to be that quarter of an inch to, uh, to half an inch maybe. As you can see when I do this first one here, it's a little bit thin and it doesn't really want to come out very well. And he loses an arm. So after my first try here, I tried this one and then I tried another one. I realized it was just too thin. And so I pulled it all back together and I rolled it a little bit thicker and that's what it needed. But when you get these, just rub those edges off. And then I'm just poking this out around the back so gently. And he turned out well, but I decided they were just a little bit too thin. And here they all are. Half of them I'm going to let air dry and half of them I baked. The ones on the left I did bake almost all the way through. Not quite. I did let them air dry just a little bit. So you can see they're just maybe a little bit damp in there. But the small ones did seem to turn out better than the other ones, but I would use a little bit better quality maybe than the cinnamon I had. Normally they do turn out better. So I will just let those dry and it took them about two to three days. I just continue to flip them over and you can definitely see the difference. The ones that air dried are lighter and the ones that I baked are darker. The thicker ones tend to, tend to go a little bit better. So you can now turn those into ornaments. You know, put a little glue, a little bit of twine on them or ribbon. But I'm going to make a garland. So I took this, well, it's a different color baker's twine that I found at... Michael's and I had just you know painted up a bunch of these red beads they're just the wooden beads can list those below as well I taped the end and I'm just spacing those out equal distance um, 
and I'm going a smaller bead and a little bit bigger bead and just going back and forth. And now I'm just hot gluing these across and I go right at the arms. You don't wanna go down too far or they're going to tip over. Now, you might wanna measure how long you want this. You know, are you using this for across your coffee bar? Are you using this for garland on a tree? Just deciding how long and how much you will need. I decided to just make this garland on my little tree. I found the cutest tree at Walmart. It's about uh, is it three and a half, four feet tall. You'll see it here in a little bit. It is adorable. It doesn't even need decorations, but these gingerbread men will be such a cute accent. If your beads do wiggle around too much, just add a dot of hot glue to stop them and you should be good to go. But I just basically put these little guys in between the beads and continued that all the way on this garland. For this bow, I took this burlapish ribbon from um, Michael's and I made like a breast cancer awareness bow loop and then I pushed it down in the middle and it makes a bow. You just grab it there. And now I'm just tying some red ribbon around the center. So that way it brings in both colors. I've got the red from the beads and then I also have, you know, that brown color from the twine as well as a gingerbread men. I think it makes a nice cute accent tying them both together. I got that ribbon or how to make that bow from my friend Brenda at Rustic and Lace DIY. Check out her channel. All right, we're just about done here. Um, I'm just, you know, tidying up this bow a little bit. Aren't those adorable? And this is that cute tree I was telling you about. This is a sign. I got the pattern from Design Bundles. You can also pick that up there. I didn't have time this year to make my own. I will have a couple for you to download next year though. I'll make sure to do that. I do love to design signs so I will do that for you. All I did was take one of the signs from the Dollar Tree and on the back I painted it white and now I'm just putting this on here. Now I did find when you have a bigger decal you want to take off half of it first, lay that down, get it smooth, then you want to lay out the other part. Now I did have a little snafu right here. I had a lot of static cling going on and it just grabbed it quicker than I could um, lay it down smoothly so I will just straighten that out not a big hassle and gosh such a big payoff I think this is a beautiful sign it just looks so vintage and nostalgic I love it And it doesn't take too long. Now, if you didn't have a Cricut, what you could do is you could print this out on your printer and then decoupage it on. You could also have it printed like at a photo place and, you know, put that on a canvas, something like that. There's so many things you could do. Now, to accent this, I took these little wooden cutouts from the Dollar Tree. I painted them in that nutmeg apple barrel color. And now I'm just taking a little bit of white fabric paint and just going around the edges of their arms. Now, if you want to go around the whole guy or you want to, you know, do faces on them, whatever you want, but this is just really simple. I didn't want it to take away from the sign.
And now I'll simply place them on the sign here. And just a dab of hot glue will do. I think that just ties it together with, you know, the garland and everything else that'll be on the coffee bar. I think it's just adorable. Mrs. Claus's Old Fashioned Gingerbread Bakery. How cute is that? Now to hang this, I'm just going to use some thin red ribbon. And I'll put this on the back and once I have all of my ribbon and everything on it, then I can go back with some brown craft paper, cover this up so that way, you know, if someone were to see it or when I take it down, it doesn't look like, well, take me to the beach. <laughs> Although it'll be middle, you know, it's winter. I may want that. Oh, take me to the ocean. That's, you know, just as good. Um, but I think it's really a cute sign. It hangs nicely with this ribbon. I thought about adding a bow to it. Um, as you can see out of the corner there, I have this red and white ribbon and I was really debating, do I want that on the left side of the sign? I thought it might give it just enough of a detail here. So I could put it here and just, you know, adhere it. But the more I looked at it, I thought it would take away from it. What do you think? Would you have added this bow in there? Or do you think it's too much also? Please let me know in the comments below. And here it is all hung up. Oh, I just love it. This is such a fun coffee bar to make. Let's get to DIY four. All right. So I had played with these little gingerbread men and I thought, oh, I need to make this one a little girl. So I've got that teensy tiny ribbon that I got at Walmart. It's like 47 cents. And so I'm going to make a bow at the top here. So just a little bit of hot glue. I thought it would be a cute accent. Now, I do hope that you've been enjoying these videos. And, you know, if you're a return viewer but you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you also hit the bell, it'll notify you whenever I release a new video so that you don't miss anything. But I would love to have you here as part of my friends and family. I would also love to see your comments. It's always great to see, you know, what you're saying and I respond to each and every one of you. Are you going to be decorating for winter then also? Will you just jump to Valentine's Day? Interested to see, you know, or learn what you might like. All I'm doing is taking a piece of ribbon here and I'm meeting the two ends on the back at the center. And now I will just take a piece and wrap that around the center of those to make the boy a little bow tie. So she has a bow up in her hair, I guess, or on her head, and he'll have just a little bow tie. Sometimes it's a little details that just make it so cute. And I do try to list below all of the supplies that I use. So if you ever have a question about that, it'll be listed below. Now I'm just fixing his hair here. You know, I think something went goofy when I was gluing on his bow because... I'm redoing him. Oh, or did I just go back over them to make it a little bit brighter? I'm trying to remember. I did an awful lot of them. I think that's him over in that corner. Um, so there he is. 
And I think they would be just fine just like this, but I did decide to go in and give them a face. Now I have these really fine markers um, that I go in and draw their eyes. I think the thing to remember with gingerbread men to really give them that cute, whimsical look is to make their eyes ovals, um, you know, vertical ovals instead of just dots. It really gives them that happier look. And hopefully you can see this with, without me zooming in too much there. So I just drew eyes and a smile. All right, they're looking awful cute there, I think. So as that ink starts to soak in just a little bit, I just want to go back over it with one more coat. This is wood, so, you know, it'll absorb a little bit of it. And now I'm just going in and giving him a couple buttons. And I do decide to give her a dress. I think she would have been just as cute without the dress. But it was something to give her just a little bit extra. Make her just a little more girly. And here they are. Now, those other gingerbread men there, I did get from Amazon. They're ornaments that have a loop at the top. And all I did was snip that loop off of the top to make it look like a gingerbread family there. And I just wrapped some ribbon around my cocoa and marshmallows and little chocolate chips and cream. All right, DIY 5, we're going to wrap it up with a little rolling pin. Now I'm going in with that nutmeg apple barrel paint again and I will just paint I guess the the main body there the roller and I did find if I put it on two little paint bottles that it was easier to you know get a nice coat across it I could roll it it does roll just like a rolling pin and go around and then it would also sit there to dry. That way it's not sitting on a surface. I went back with some Waverly Crimson Red. I love this, it only needs one coat. It's so nicely pigmented. And now I just scooted in those paint bottles so that they'll be under the base so that the ends could also dry. Now on my Cricut, I just did believe you could do that. You could totally leave this off. You could do it with stickers. You could do it with a paint marker. Again, your projects, these are only to give you inspiration and some things that I had, so that's what I used. I've got a little bit of Baker's Twine here, just going to accent this other side. This is a thicker Baker's Twine, just like I used earlier um, from Michael's. Now I'll just snip that off and tie a knot. Pretty simple. All of these are very doable. You know, it's not a high degree of craftiness needed. But I do hope that you're enjoying them. And I hope that you'll let me know which your favorite is. Um, and if you'd like to see some winter decor, I've gotten a couple requests for that. So I know that I'll do a bit. But I'm just wondering if you will too. It looks so sparse sometimes when you take down all the Christmas decorations. All right, so I'm just trying to line this up with the words there and, you know, figure out exactly where I want it. And I think I did add just a dot of glue to hold it in place. 
And now I'm going to use one of those tiny gingerbread men and give him just a little bit of hot glue. But oh my goodness, these just make your home smell so good. Um, a tree with those big gingerbread men would be so cute also. I'm going to show you in just a moment the full coffee bar. That way you can kind of take a look at everything together and let me know what you think. All just come together so well. And for that jar over there, all I did was glue a couple of those on an old pickle jar, put some ribbon around there. But here's one more look at everything. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and leave me a comment. I appreciate each and every one of you more than I can possibly express. So thank you so very much for watching and I look forward to reading your comments and talking to you soon. Here's a look at a night view with my candles going and the Christmas tree lit.